anyway, here we are, right after our jump, I believe. But uh, things are not right, are they? Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Several anomalies detected. Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Full engine critically damaged. Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. A new request awaits your attention. Okay. And hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark 3. Welcome back to Ixion. Um there was no outro in the previous episode because I figured you know what? The jump is a great place to cut. It's just it's the end of that chapter and it fits so darn well with Everything's going sideways. In a fancy paper hat. <laughs> so yeah, um, things to take from that though. We have... We haven't jumped to our target destination, which was, was Proxima Centauri, I think it was, or was it Alpha Centauri? Centauri system, anyway. Um, we are by the moon. The moon is looking very healthy. Um, there's a discrepancy between the ship's internal chronometers and the uh, apparent state of the system. So as a result, if we look, we don't know where anything is right now, essentially. So with that in mind, I'm going to turn back on the probe launcher. I also need to turn back on the EVA airlock. Whoops, never mind, turn that one off. Um, how much power? I need to find another... Well, that's ironic. I just need to find another three power. So I'm going to turn this one off. That'll do it. And just enough power for that, so that'll be fine. Also, of note, by the way, is multiple software security breaches in the system during that jump. So that suggests outside interference, and the Vol engine went whoopsie. Also, it's critically damaged and no longer functional, so this trial jump has definitely not gone as planned. So, I suspect sabotage, but um, I don't know if we'll ever get a proper answer to that one. Anyway, because of the jump, we have some quests to do, some things to answer. So, the crew are asking a lot of questions about the state of the Earth. Um, Munchy behavior algorithms predict a decrease in productivity of 22% if these questions are unanswered. As administrator of the Tycoon Station, you should find some answers quickly. So commit to ex extending an expedition to Earth. That's fine. Next one. Um, you may have noticed the moon has broken apart. Yes, I did. The crew are aware of this and many rumors are spreading throughout the station. You will have to make an official statement. Dulles has many enemies. It's our fault. Humanity's fate. Well, basically, humanity's fate. Ideally, we escape the solar system before the, we uh, kick the bucket, but we'll need to figure out a bunch more stuff we don't know right now. It's our fault. Not really. We did our best. We did exactly what we were meant to do. The fact that there's data breaches means that I suspect something else came in. Trust bounty minus five, though, because they're not, they're not happy anyway with that one. I, believe. I think I think it's like five percent, no matter what. So let's go back out. Earth is very lovely, shade of brown, as you can see there. 
And also, somehow, we have got the Oceanani. Even though it's like about a, a sixth back in the orbital track, we're somehow able to sense it. <laughs> Don't know why. But mass error. Um, I gave all my organs... Of, I've never read the description. I gave all my organs away to the destitute lost in the square, to the stray dogs and the barren trees. I returned whole without fruit. Mohammed Harbi, I returned whole. Fitting, since it's a supply ship, actually. Anyway, no signals detected. Dulles comms unresponsive. And the moon says, Tycoon sensor array error. Incalculable fragments found. But look at that image. That doesn't look too healthy at all, does it? Anyway, moving on. Uh, we need to get things rolling. I'm going to do this in sequence from interior outwards. Also, of note, by the way, is we can find minerals and things now. But we aren't quite in a position yet to actually do anything about it. Ah, there we go. There's one. But this is also where having the thing on auto build is good because there's a lot of probes to do. Still waiting on that extra science ship though. Speaking of, let's send out our first science ship to Earth. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, Earth. No signals have been received from Earth. The ocean seems to have evaporated, and the surface temperature has risen significantly since the Tycoon was last in orbit. Atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerously high levels of carbon dioxide, radiation, and microplastics. The blue planets will never again deserve its name. Now, we, this is a fact-finding expedition. UN satellites, obvious around the place. But we can check all three of these and it'll be fine. So let's go to the headquarters first. Try and find out a bit about what's going on. Ah, there we go. The um, Lavarizer. Lava, Our first one is Gear. Lavarizer. You can go to check out that. Uh, but we've got a couple of science ships because we do need to find out more about what's going on. And also because these science events actually take time to sort out. So it's always worth remembering that. A science ship team has completed a we have found Mercury. Okay, we have found Mercury. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Astonishing probe for... Um, science can take a bit. Let's go ahead and actually hit a resource spot nearby if we can get, grab one. Iron there. Okay, Earth. Converted oil rig which Dulles uses at state of the art headquarters is gone. Only a few metal scraps remain. Scattered across an expanse of dusty, cracked earth. No sign of survivors. 45 science, 225 alloy. So, investigate personal location. Let's investigate where our old family home is. And in the meantime, um, the. Urshanabi. Our sensors detected the Urshanabi. The ship is broken in two and is not transmitting any signals. Question is how you how do you find it? Uh, the the phrase "Whoever helps Dolos is an enemy to humanity" has been dubbed in large letters on the wreck of the Urshanabi. Modified bodies have been attached to its hull. So gather remaining resources. So yeah, Dolos. After what happened to the moon, not gone too well. Let's be fair. Probe has completed its scan. Okay, our mining ship is out. Off you go, mining ship. ship team has completed a task. Things worth noting, mining ship does not actually carry resources back and forth. It just goes to a place, harvests, mm -hmm. and builds a stash, which a cargo ship then needs to go out and pick up. But um, as the crew levels up in a mining ship, they will actually harvest more quickly. So that can increase. So... Ship was full of food. I hope the expiration that hasn't passed. 
Uh, they might be um, military MREs, meals ready to eat. Those things last for ages. Well, last. <laughs> Quotation marks. Everything's ready for extraction, so end the protocol, get the food. That's fine, and I'll tell you to move on to Mercury just to pick up those science points. This is also about the point, as I recall, that I wanted to get an extra docking ray installed. A science ship team has completed a task. Next Earth! Information. A huge crevasse cuts through the ground where your home once stood. There's no trace of civilization. Uh, the Earth destroyed my home. How could they? Science, alloys, and processors. Lastly, search the globe for signs of survivors. Yes, indeed. That's all we need to do. And I just hope I find some polymers, because otherwise I might be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> Though that said, I, I, f I do not remember having trouble with polymers before, so... Right, I just unassigned my mining ship. So I've called that back in to get a the cargo ship out. So the cargo ship can start bringing in raw materials from Earth. Because we need that anyway to get the stuff. No point in having ore and stuff if we can find... Actually, we want the ore, but we don't want to wait on it, really. Plus, we need metal for other things, too. Let's see, you are going to be... Let's shut you off, so I gas the five there. Team has completed a task. Okay, science ship is done. Cool. There we go. I knew there was a source of polymers early in this one. After long search, we found nothing but rubble. I see no signs of life, not even a corpse. The lunaclism seems to have caused a series of events that precipitated the collapse of thermo-industrial civilization. The Earth has become a toxic and arid wasteland scoured by harsh winds. Now more inhospitable than Mars. The only remnants of civilization we found was a fallen stale... Stale? I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that. Where the city of Washington once stood. Stuck in a crevasse, it has been sheltered from the wind. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness was engraved in gold on its surface. Hmm. Toxic and arid wasteland. Makes me think of Solaris and the recent toxic uh, races release. I, I keep being tempted to buy that. Ugh, spending money. Ugh. Anyway. And that's... A new request awaits your attention. Now the thing is, that gives us 120 science in total, plus all the materials. I am going to tell it to... We've got multiple requests, oh dear. I'm going to tell it to prioritise picking up the polymers. Well, I will as soon as I get the ship out, I should probably say. Wait, I don't want you to build a ship. I want to assign an existing ship. There we go. I, I misclicked. I don't want to build a new ship just this second. But prioritise picking up the polymers, please. I thought I was waiting for the mine ship to come back, but um, apparently not. It's just me being silly. Okay, right, anyway. Events. Events. Here we go. Uh, mission reports the expedition of Earth have been discussed among the crew. The thought of having lost all loved ones left behind has destroyed morale for many of them. Symptoms of this trauma have now been uh, caused under the medical designation Dead Earth Sickness. Minus one permanent stability. So... People are not happy about what's happened, basically. And I have to t try and cope with that. Uh, to safeguard humans, it was fine. Survivors increase the station's population. We do not have time to go through the classic reproduction cycle of your species. Adding new members to the Tycoon's queue will have positive impact on morale. Cryonic stasis, a practice pioneered by Dolos, I mean, I'm one of the early pioneers, so yeah, was in growing use even before we left the solar system. There is a very high likelihood that cryonic pods contain survivors await discovery. So, basically, find people who are lucky enough to be stored in f cryonic suspension and bring them in. <clears throat> and we did actually unlock the tech for that. We've got um, cryonic centers. These centers will allow us to start um, bringing in pods and reviving them. Though. 
it's not 100% beneficial, I will very hastily add. There are some drawbacks to this as well. But for that, that can go there. Um, I want more crew faster than I want... Um, that, I think. Let, let's cancel that for now. Pull the materials out for a cryonics bay. We don't actually have any cryonics pods. Should probably mention. But we will hopefully have some shortly. That said, we will be able to start building probes again, which is also very nice. More importantly though, actually, there's some things I've forgotten to do, which is the fact... Well, first, first off, we need more power, so let's get a second solar panel going in. Yes. And then, turn on repair, because I forgot, basically. So the problem is our hull is steadily degrading, and it's been mucked up by the vol jump, understandable. The vol jump was kind of bad. And then there's also a penalty for how much the station is actually in active use. So, minus 8 from um, one open sector, minus 20 from the fact we've gone through one vol jump. So vol jumps are very detrimental to our overall situation. But now, repairs will start from our, our EVA airlock, but they cost alloy. Also, there's something over there I missed. Okay, hello, what are you? Sector 1 has almost reached maximum structural load. More infrastructure surely we need soon. A new sector will need to be unlocked. Originally, sectors were programmed to automatically unlock after completion of the mission to Proxima Centauri. Uh, with the change to the Tycoon's mission objective, this restriction could be bypassed by manually overriding gateway lock algorithms. So, pledge to open one within 10 cycles, or the Tycoon does not have the resources to untake this modification. Um, I'm going to say no. In the test game and this and the original stream game, I said yes, but I'm going to say no. And that's because unlocking requires some alloy, processor, a little bit of food, nothing bad. But it requires 40 people to be committed. And they've modified the price. It used to be like five processors or something like that. So that's, that's been reduced. But yeah, it takes 40 workers out of the sector in, in question. Which I don't, I'm not quite ready to part with just yet. And then it shunts them into the new sector where there's no buildings. So, yeah. I don't think we're quite in the position to do that, all that. Also, I'm going to... Scrap these two. So, yeah, there's, there's things to be aware of, unfortunately. Waiting on processor to come in, that's okay. I'm going to cancel the construction, let you come back on, because... I only deconstructed you to get the alloy out to go into the cryonic center. That's okay. That's okay. Let's keep on going. Alright, a little bit more progress has been made. We've got a few more bits and pieces around the place, but... Actually, how much is left over you? Twelve. One more cargo run will clear that out. But we're, we're reaching some science now, so... Very cool, big, big thing, Um I've always wondered if was like, uh, this was like an accelerator, or a dockyard, or a shipyard, or you know, any kind of like that. But anyway, um, we have verified the data several times and confirmed the existence of a vast debris field covering an area of several thousand kilometers. At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which even in its ruined state makes the Tycoon look like an insect. No signals have been detected. We have identified three areas for investigation. The core of the structure, a secondary structure that looks to be remains of a destroyed loading dock, and a particularly dense area of the debris field close to the other two sites. We recommend the utmost caution be taken when approaching these areas. The floating debris will make navigation difficult and interfere with communications. So, in summary, um, the gear is holding station at the edge of the debris field. A route has been mapped through to the areas for investigation. So let's begin, one by one, by the numbers. The core of the structure shall be investigated. And yes, I am spamming probes left and right. I'm also doing a little bit of restructuring in here, just in preparation for things I hope to do to come, ideally. 
but the problem is I need alloys and I'm not getting them just yet. Also, we just unlocked polymer refinery. Let's pick up electronics for now. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, here we go. The first visuals reveal a huge damage structure surrounded by arches that have been detached from their central axis. These arches show extreme signs of deterioration. The structure is covered in traces of explosive residue, collision impacts, and scarring from unknown weaponry. After exploring the few areas of the structure that remain accessible, the team of the gear spotted a number of salvageable resources nearby and a ruined assembly area. Further analysis is possible, but will take time. 10 science, 25 cryopods. Um, resume that. I was going to mention, by the way, uh, we received a shipment of cryopods ourselves. I'm just not entirely sure where they come from. I'm guessing maybe the initial investigation is revealing it from some places. I'm just not entirely sure where I got those cryopods, but I found some cryopods. So I just want to mention that. Let's go check the assembly area next. Do it by the numbers. So yeah, if we go back to the Tycoon, we have got 20 cryopods that have literally just been dropped off right before that um, science mission procs off. Though that said, I am also aware that I do not have any thing. I have enough power, so I'll turn you back on. I want to turn you off, though, and tell you to take the cryopods, because we can't access the cryopods in the cargo bay. So if we get the cryopods into our internal storage, then we can start using them, and we can start reviving and growing our population. Though hopefully we'll get workers, but it's a split between workers and non-workers, so there are some... We might be getting mouths to feed that don't actually contribute to our situation right now. So that is something to be aware of. And it's also something you have to try and manage. Also, yeah, my housing situation is kind of there. But um, I am rebuilding some stuff over here as well as I shuffle things about. Though we do have another thing, which is a Mars. Um... An old disused complex named Richter's facility has been located on the surface of Mars. The derelict UN-owned facility is covered almost entirely by Martian sand. Existing Dulles clearance codes can be used to interact with the complex systems. Caution is advised as the weight of the sand may exceed the structure's load bearing capacity. So let's go ahead and access this thing. Also, is that second bay online? No, it's still waiting on metal. I know. It's because we don't have any alloys. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay. Coast briefly reactivated the base's defense systems. Due to the facility state, they fortunately overloaded and now offline. The team of the Lavasia did not suffer any losses. Um, by the way, I should mention that. Um, you can have losses to your science crews, or you can lose the ships entirely. I'm pretty sure the space houses that can block, physically break a ship, but you can still lose crew in events as well. Okay. Um, investigate the storage area. Inspect the scientific study center. Perform a full sweep of the facility. Or prepare the site for resource extraction. Uh, simultaneous security extraction across. You know, let's do that. Let's do a full sweep. Let's be greedy. We want the stuff. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Yes, hello. Uh, below 70% current damage exceeds tolerance levels. It will be wise right to start repairs. Yeah, 30 cycles, 75%. We'll be fine. It's just um, we've not had any alloys coming in. That's all it is. But hey, it's a bit bit of extra trust, so that's fine. The problem is my cargo ship isn't currently prioritized to get alloys. So that might be something I need to change. In fact, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and change that now. Let's... I'm great to use that, that, and that. Okay. So yeah, shipping the alloys from Earth. Actually, we could just shut the Tycon to Earth to make that a bit easier. What, what's there? 421. Um, 
let's boot up the Tycon and move it. Sorry, interesting lunar marsh, lunar escape. I am going to move slightly away from you just to help ease gathering that stuff. Has completed a task. Excellent progress. Examination, the uh, Gears team concluded the site was evacuated prior to its destruction, finding uniforms and equipment bearing the signatures of different organizations. It appears this facility was the property of the UN. Strangely, a number of embalmed bodies were found in a secluded area. The team was unable to determine the cause of the outcome of the conflict, but to manage to recover further resources, these have been packaged for extraction. 13 polymers, 250 cryopods, so massive mass cryopods, from this station. So... That's good. Let's go ahead and check the loading dock for them. And then the full facility sweep is here, so we're going to find out what happened. The operation was a success. The team was able to recover a large amount of resources. Regretfully, a few crew members were lost in the process. Uh, deviating from standard resource extraction protocols, their unauthorized actions caused the collapse of a retaining wall, sand flood facility, and caused the subsequent asphyxiation. Their memory will be honored. Their breach of protocol denounced. So we lost two crew members for nine polymers and 25 pods. Oh dear. Missing two crew. Must return to the Tycoon to replace missing crew before starting another expedition. So. Hmm. I, I was just saying we can lose that. How, how do I... Yeah, there we go. Back to Tycoon. So I can't actually set Tycoon as destination, but luckily there is a button there to do it. It's just kind of hidden a little bit. Well, sometimes. Alas, our first casualties, though. Oh dear. In other news, we are finally fixing the ship's hull. Okay, next entry. Uh, human, frozen human remains constitute the majority of the debris that surrounded the loading dock. Evidence suggests that they have experienced depressurization after a structural breach. The dock itself has been loosened and partially dismantled. Several cairns have been left behind, arranged in helical shapes, and erected using makeshift materials. The team did not find a few resources. Sorry, did find a few resources, and these have been prepared for extraction. So, one processor and ten science. And then lastly, there's that debris field to survey. Um, Laviosia has been refit and sent out. Though, that said... Reforming the crew, it looks like it wiped its experience level because it's um, it's done a few missions, but it has zero experience. So keeping a crew intact seems like a good idea. Also, I'm getting some cargo ships flowing in as well. Um, you're going to take in minerals. Yeah. Science ship has arrived. Our unfortunate Laviosa is now over here. So, this single broadcasting on Dell's frequency originates from a mineral extraction station named Stanford's facility. There is a Stanford facility may well, contain many materials useful to the Tycoon and its crew. However, in order to recover the items, we need to dismantle elements of the structure to gain entrance. A control center has been identified, but it is sealed off by a shutter with a UN emblem stenciled over it. A message has been written beneath the emblem of an unknown language. No idea what it says, but it's accompanied by a helical shaped symbol. So... Go after resources, or go after the control room. Uh, let's go after the facility this time. In the stream game, I went into the control room, and then had a case of dead earth sickness, which killed four of the crew, so... There was another option in there, but it's not something I've, I'd actually looked at. So, also, I'm just I'm shunting around my food production a little bit, just because I want to start rearranging stuff a bit more. As I said, so it, it it takes time to do it. You're complaining because you have nowhere to put the iron. Okay. Also, we have. All three basic factories now. Happy days. A 
next step. Uh, matching the character of Model Council member Philip Stanford. Meticulous organization with organized resource packets were found in the facility storage area. They have been prepared for extraction. Food, cryopods, science. And we don't have the opportunity to go and have a look at the actual thing. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Gather that and then we'll send you off to Venus. A science ship team has completed a task. Imagine now. Wrecks of shuttles float everywhere, mostly belong to UN, though there are f some bearing the acronym BMS. Despite the many hazards and potential psychological impacts from the presence of human corpses, the Gears team was able to locate some salvageable resources. 30 alloys, 25 cryopods, 10 science. Alright, we are finding stuff. Jolly good. Next round of research. We are at Venus and Uranus. <laughs> okay, so Venus. Uh, probe data has revealed mining and in in industrial infrastructure below the surface of Venus. According to reports from the exploration team, subterranean sites contains just a mining infrastructure and a large assembly line. Many embalmed bodies were found in the area. The, the line seems to have been originally used to fabricate solar sails. The Tycoon engineers suggested with minor repairs it could be restarted. So, 10 metal, restart it, just dismantle it, achieve as much as possible, or just leave it alone. Well, let's go ahead and. I'm going to spend metal, I mean, I've got a bit of metal, so restart it. And they're all doing about the same, so I'll call in the first one for you. And Uranus. Instruments have recorded abnormal thermal activity on Uranus. At this distance, we are unable to deduce its nature and source. Control Uranus, we've found a tree. It seems impossible in such an environment, but I've never seen anything like it. It's breathing. The tree sh um, sheds its leaves. Sorry, it's not breathing, it's breathtaking. The tree sheds its leaves quite rapidly, but they reform almost instantly, crystallizing from the branches. The root structure appears to sink into the planet. I hope you're receiving our images as it feels like a fever dream. So slow but steady works well with this one. So we're just going to do that. And I'm also going to keep scanning around and find resource pockets to make sure I am doing fine for resources. It's what the probes are for, right? Uranus is weighing in. After analysis of various samples, the tree appears to be almost entirely edible. Roots, leaves, and fruit can all be eaten. RNA samples suggest that the tree is a result of extensive bioengineering experimentation. It's unknown how it was germinated here, or who is responsible for this feat. Mm -hmm. So, interesting bits and bobs. The We can harvest edible parts, and then Naomi Protocol is cut down the tree. So, let's go ahead and harvest what we can. And we then we'll blow it up. Because we've got to blow something up. It's space, isn't it? It's what we do. Ah, we're riveting updates. Nothing happened. The team has prepared resources for extraction. 25 food. Not, not everything that happens is interesting. But five turns to cut the tree down with strategic explosives. And then we'll be done with that. Venus is sticking along. Um, I'm starting to rearrange some more of my interior, so I've got some stru some storage bays down here, and I'm putting some batteries in, so I can move the Tycoon around without powering the sector down, which is probably going to be quite a good idea, I think. Just keep on, keep everything moving, really. I think I've got all points of interest right now. Yeah, all known points of interest. So that's all good. So we are just continuing to check for resources and things around the place. There's a probably dose of silicon around here. A science 
leadership team has completed a task. Venus, the seven line has been repaired. Machines belong to the UN are clearly more advanced than our systems. They are fully automated and our teams have been able to use them to prepare a number of resources for extraction. During the pair process, I only discovered a number of inscriptions written by Ulysses. He speaks of his time as administrator of Neptune's Hyperlux station, Thakai, and expresses regret over the fate of the station's residents. He used to be used the line to repair elements of his ship so that he could reach the headquarters of the Black Market Society. Now that is actually a cross site quest line there. So the Black Market Facility and it mentions a luxury retreat as well. The thing is, there's an option which I think it was that guy's name. And it gives us a path across the system if we can find the sites. So Neptune for the luxury retreat, Saturn for the black market. That said, though, the situation continues to be quite stable, I think. Can I actually fly to... I can't fly to asteroids. I can only fly to major bodies with the Tycoon itself. Good to know. Anyway. Gear can proceed towards Saturn, then. Which is the next stop mentioned by that. And just like that, we have managed to repair our hull just enough. Did take a while, though. A science ship team has completed a task. And here we go, last thing for this episode. Uh, when the tree fell, a plaque... I, I misread, I've been misreading that the, the other two times I've done this. The plague is what I was reading. No, a plaque was revealed buried beneath its roots. The tree was a collaboration between... Henry Barber and Rabia Nyokand, when they joined the uh, Ashtangri Ashtangrites, they offered their creation to humanity, hoping it would ease some of the uh, debt created by the atrocities of Dolos. The Lavios' team felled the tree and have prepared the resulting resource to extraction. So, 25 food, 25 carbon, 15 science. Science is very welcome. I am somewhat nervous about my current level of science. But yeah, that is all going out according to plan. The thing is, I don't think Pluto is accessible as a destination, but it's kind of far out anyway, as far as the entire thing. But yeah, I think that's... Ooh, that's a massive spike of material over there. Hmm. But yeah, we're going to end this episode here, though. So, um... I was going to say, mm, yeah, let's, let's end the episode. But I'm, I'm thinking, like, let's get the initial things going. Now, let, let's save those two sites for next time. Let's save those two sites for next time. This has been Anna Murphy. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the show. Um, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel. Gives me those virtual headpats that I also oh crave. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Keep on working. So far, we had only had 22 non-workers. That's not too bad. We're still doing just fine for crew, though. A probe has completed its scan.